Emily and welcome to Aurora the Adventure Bus. Thanks for having this bottom step. <laughs> yeah. So at the front of the bus, we have, that's good. You so, got the uh, furry overlord. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's very curious. So at the front of the bus, we uh, did a custom dash. This is our Jeep's rear bench seat, and it's on an air ride pedestal. So we both sit up here and we both have seat belts. It's pretty nice. Um, the front of the bus, we have a curtain that comes down, a motorized curtain. Sure. And um, Which we well, can lower if it's sunny and we're driving into the sun. Yeah. And then coming, going back further, we have a couch that converts into a queen size bed. It also converts into an L-shaped couch too for hosting. And then on this side, we have my wife's workstation. And her workstation tips up into an easel if she wants to do arts and crafts and stuff like that. Throughout the bus we have um, 12 volt USB outlets so we can charge any of our electronics mm -hmm. super easy. Sure. Yep. Uh, we just have a Dometic 12 volt refrigerator freezer combo. It's been really good to us. It barely uses any power. Uh, we have a dishwasher and then a bigger farm style sink. We love having our upper cabinets. Uh, we have a, a shock on it so it uh, what I like to, too is that when you, you did the roof raise, you raised from below the windows. Yes. So you retain the windows. And yeah. yes. most people don't do that. Yep. Correct. We did a uh, foot and a half of roof raise, cut it below the windows on the back part, then up behind the door and the driver's window. Where that top and curtain went down to, we added that extra window yeah, sure. so we could have extra space to see at like top, tight intersections. Right. Yeah, because I'm tall, so looking up at if it's one of those that are, yeah. Very short intersection, you can actually see the stoplight, so that's nice. Yeah, I'm yep. do, do this a lot. Yep. Yes, yep. Um, we converted the first emergency exit into just a um, skylight hatch, it's not opening, but it works for us. Now, do you ever find that you get a lot of heat from the yes. sun? Yes, um, we yep. have curtains, that's what these are for. Oh, okay. They can snap right on, yep. and then yeah. there's that's a, a common problem. There. You put it, it's great in the winter. Yep. Summertime, it just bakes you. Yeah. Yep. Even yep. in the winter, we leave it because you can feel it's just a lot of cold air. That, cause it's a, that too. <laughs> we want only a single um, pane one. Right. Um, I think I'm going to swap it out for maybe one that opens, but we'll see. It's it's never ending project. <laughs> um, this is our spice rack. And um, our breakfast nut can fold up. So we have a heavy duty magnet and then we have a latch right here where we can have it latched for sure. eating together and then it flips up so we can access our pantry. All right. And, and you then, got a spice, uh, one or two. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show off our, the curtains. So they're, they have Reflectix sewn in and she did all the curtains. They can roll down like that and you can also lower them. All right. Just, yeah. Yep. Yep. So that's a really, it's handy for... If we want to have windows down yeah. or something. Yeah, a little, little bit of privacy, but in. still get yep. the light. Sure. Um, stove and oven combo. We actually have storage for our backpacks in the, the triangle back here. In our turkey cabinets that we couldn't work around with drawers and cupboards, we that's, have a drop hatch. A great way to do it. So sure. we have two full-size backpacking backpacks and some day packs and stuff like that. So it holds quite a bit. Then behind the... Um, stove, we have storage for like the fondue pot and random Specialty stuff. kitchen items. Yep. Right. Um, we have another pantry here. All of our pantry items, whether it's these quart jars, the liquids, or our spices, are all designed in the same manner of where they'll ah. hit wood so they won't slide around while we're driving. But if we lift up and then tilt sure. out, that's Could how I? we can get stuff out. Good yeah. idea. They're silent if you're on a decent road. <laughs> if you're not on a decent road, they're... Yeah, come, coming in here to Scully Palooza. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But... A little loud. Yep. yep. We kept the emergency exit and just stretched it. I still want to panel the, the side of it, but didn't get to it. But it's nice um, when we do like grocery shopping, we'll just pull the Jeep up beside and just throw... Um, right. Throw all the, the throw groceries, groceries right in. in right here where it's right by our pantry, so it's easy yeah. to unload. Yep. And we have steps and a grab bar on the side so you can get up and down easy. So. 
And then for the back portion of our bus, we decided we didn't want to work around the rear wheel well. So we added two steps here and then everything from this point backward, we have storage in our floor. Sure. I know a lot of people that have put their batteries under the floor. Ours are in the under bay. Yeah. We have right. storage under Well, you got yep. that. Yeah, we have an, it's insulated and heated. So our under bay stays roughly the same as the All right. mm -hmm. upstairs. Our bathroom door, we can close off the hallway since our offices are at other opposite sides of the bus. So if we need extra noise canceling, we can separate our offices. Sure. Um, so it swings both ways. Um, I'll let you get through here. So uh, because we had that oh. step right where the hallway started, our shower is recessed yeah. by that same amount. That's nice. Yep. And Especially because you're tall. Yeah, I can mm -hmm. actually stand up in the shower and not be crowded. Yeah. A couple years ago, I toured a bus where they, they put a bubble at the top oh, of the shower because sure. he yep. was 6'4". Yep. So his head was You'd up in the bubble. To, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So underneath their bed, we have a 200-gallon water tank. And, and this then, is a queen-size bed. Yep. Sure. And then in the front, we have our storage for all of our clothes. So mm -hmm. they just all just little cubes. Works pretty good. And then at our rear emergency exit, we have a air conditioner. Sure. Yep. I like what you did with the, the maps of pictures from each state that you've been in. Thank you. That's a great yep. idea. So this is my office. My table will actually flip up if I need to. And um, um, this is where it's a rear engine bus. So this hatch is actually that access to the engine, the engine bay. So I can check oil and um, get to the front part of the engine. My daughter. <laughs> and I'll then call her back. Yeah. <laughs> and then underneath where I'm at, we have a deep freeze. So it's just a apartment-sized deep freeze right. that we have in an insulated box that's kind of offset from the engine bay. And we can, yeah, it, it's our overflow. We can throw whatever we need in there, and it mm -hmm. keeps really nice. All right. So now. I don't know if I asked it. How much solar do you have? We have 2,400 watts of solar and 800 amp hours of battery. So basically, uh, you can power a small village. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah and it's um, nothing's. It's all flat. It's not angled. So during the winter, like right now, it's it, it keeps us going because we oh, both yeah. we both work full time. So then we have the computers on. We work actually like East Coast and Central time. So you're up early, so. Working yeah. before the sun comes up to charge everything. Yep. It right. can draw quite a bit. So, and then I used to work construction, so I have all my <laughs> models from that. Every guy I know that worked construction ends up with those models. Yep. yep. So they're all wired down and they actually stay. I haven't messed with them since we traveled over yep. a thousand miles, so. Yep. And then the rear engine bay um, from here down is actual, the actual dog house and then up below above that is our storage so it's just a bulk storage area where i have totes and stuff like that sure things and, that can handle the heat from the yeah engine. and then i just have like lightweight stuff and it's actually everything's insulated and it stays roughly ambient temperature sure even we have um it's actually a fiberglass fire blanket on the underside of this hatch and we don't get any fumes we don't get any heat back here yeah, yeah. we'll go all day and it doesn't doesn't bother us so you guys got a beautiful boss. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, now, do you have social media if somebody wanted to ask questions or yes. get a hold of you? Yes, we are on Instagram at aurora.theadventurebus. Okay. And YouTube is the hard way. So. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you.